Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be making some vintage ephemera packs. Um, the past couple days I've made a few here and I thought I would make my last lot on camera just with you guys um, like I'd said I was going to do. So um, yesterday I started making some and I've been working a little bit um, today on some. So I've got two packs here ready to go. These are just my regular size um, layered pocket tags. So I'll go through them a little bit later. So that's those ones and then I've got a small one. So I thought on camera today I'll make another one of these regular size ones and one of the small ones. So I've got those. So I'm going to pop those aside and we'll, we'll have a look through them later because they'll be in my shop. And then I also made up some packs of eco prints. So we'll go through these a little bit later as well. You can have a look just at some of the different um, patterns and stuff in here. So there's five in each. I just made up three. So. so I'll pop those aside and we will get started on making up our vintage um, layered pocket tags. I hope you guys have all been doing really, really well. Just pop that down there and yep. We'll grab out some stuff um, just to make the next layered pocket tag. Um, if you guys hadn't watched my floral one, I will share with you the dimensions again. So they are, let me just check, 11 centimeters wide and the height of the actual, like the base here is, gosh it's just under, it's about 8 inches, sorry that's better, just under 21. <laughs> So I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to quickly make this one up and then I do have my little small one where I've decorated the front here, just the lovely lady and little bits and pieces and we're going to fill this one too. So yeah, I hope you guys have had a lovely um, few days. I have been a little bit busy myself. My kiddos have been in Melbourne and... Um, yeah, so I have just been spending some time with my husband. We went up to Brisbane and I went to the um, the Brisbane Book Fest again, uh, which you guys might have heard me talk about before. Um, but I wanted to go up a second time just before they closed. And um, yeah, I was going to take you guys along and actually I did. <laughs> I did... Um, I did do some recording, but you guys, some of you guys might know um, if you were on my Facebook page or my Instagram that as I was filming parts of this vlog for you guys, I was actually riding a bike and I was going up over um, one of the bridges across the Brisbane River up there and I thought I will whip out my camera and get some nice footage going over this bridge and I kind of like fumbled and my phone flew out of my hand. It did like a double bounce. It landed on a little ledge outside the railing of the bridge. And I, I quickly jumped off my bike because I thought I can grab it. It teetered and then it just fell. It just went <laughs> straight down into the middle of the Brisbane River. So um, <laughs> some of you guys might already know that. I w was, you know, I was off Instagram and that for a couple of days because I did not have a mobile phone anymore. And I was really disappointed because I lost all the footage for you guys that I had taken um, of the book fest up there. So, so it was pretty unfortunate, but um, I do clear my phone quite often. So it wasn't too bad in that regard, but I was pretty upset with myself for um, being so clumsy. <laughs> My um my husband he was laughing and I was crying, so <laughs> yeah, what can you do? He just said it looked really comical, the way it happened. But yeah, I don't I didn't feel like it was comical at all. Um, I was pretty devastated by that, but and luckily it was insured and um, I was able to get a replacement phone fairly quickly. So yeah, that was what happened on. I was up here on Saturday actually 
and um, we were actually going to bike over to the botanical gardens up there because I hadn't been to the one in the city for quite some time and I wanted to go back over there but after that happened I was just like no I want to go home I was, I was devastated that like ruined the day <laughs> so, <laughs> so that was my weekend basically and um, yeah my kids they were down in Melbourne they spent about three days down in Melbourne spending some quality time with her grandma so it was nice for them and they're back now so okay so we've got I was just using this one here as a guide to measure the pockets there um, now I'm just gonna make my little vellum pocket down here gonna be about that high grab my little pencil here yeah, it's been extremely hot here in Queensland as well. Actually, I think all over Australia there have been heat waves. So, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, today, when I jumped in the car, it said it was 39 degrees, which was about 102 Fahrenheit. Um, and that was just at our house. So yeah, it was a hot day today. I'm just going to trim this off here, guys. And these will be the last of my, um, my vintage style tags for a little while because I am pretty much out of the uh, Tim Holtz paper now. So... So yeah, I think um, these were from a couple of different collections. One of them was the Wolf Wallflower collection, and I'm not sure what the other collection's called. But you, you guys who know, Tim Holtz will know. It's going to run some glue across here really quickly, just to hold it in place. And then I'll go and stitch it. But I do still put... Um, like my flowers and my butterflies and things, I always have done. So, um, so it is a vintage sort of themed layered pocket tag, but it does have some birds and some florals in it, and it also does have some little Tim Holtz dolls. Oops, let's stay there. <laughs> So these should be up in my shop um, after the video goes live, so I'll just have to take some photos and do the listings up and things like that, so if they're not in my shop straight after the video, they won't be far away, so. Okay, so there is my third um, pocket tag that I'm going to create. Now I'm just going to go and sew this, just like I did with the floral one, and I'll pop a little whole reinforcer on that and then we'll get started and we'll decorate some bits and pieces um, some other things that I do use in the layered pocket tags are a lot of vintage images um, just like these and I get a lot of these bigger images from books um, so these ones actually came out of a book from the book fest but you can get them at op shops and things like that so I'll show you guys actually quickly I'll grab the book um, just to sort of sorry guys, show you the type of books that I will grab. So this one says Australian Family Album. And yeah, it's full of sort of, they're not all vintage, but this one here is kind of comparing, I think, throughout, throughout time. Um, so let's have a quick look so yeah I will actually it was really interesting reading some of the stories in here too there's, <laughs> there's lots of old-fashioned images so these are like here yeah, these are a great way to get um, nice vintage images with that if you don't know where to look online and things like that these are always a great way to get some vintage images out of books and this is quite this is quite large so there's quite a few it's got some cool paper back there too actually um, 
it's quite a good way to to grab different images some of them are quite large too but you can use those in um, like journals and things if you wanted to put like a large photo in but yeah lots of vintage style images in here that I will just go through and I'll cut out and I'll make tags and stuff out of them and I'll back them onto scrapbooking paper and things like that so yeah so this is another way that I do get vintage images um, just for some more variety so I'll pop that away and I'm going to go now, I'm going to go and stitch, so that's not very secure, but I'll just hold it in place. I'll go and stitch this all around here, and I'll be back soon. Okay guys, so I'm back now, and I have, um, I've just sewn all around there again, just like I've done before. I'm just going to add a little hole reinforcer to the top here. And one thing that I, I do actually do, and I... I forgot that I um, I did this in the last one. I actually didn't show you guys. As I actually add, you can see here, I add a strip of um, washi tape down the bottom. Um, oops, there you go. So that's one thing I forgot to do in my floral uh, ephemera pack. So I'm just gonna, if I can find the end. This is um, Tim Holtz washi tape very very expensive to get here um, but I think I used <laughs> a coupon on this one which I don't get very often but yeah it's lovely lovely tape anyway let's just trim that off I hope this setup is going to be good because this is my third time with a different camera um, <laughs> and let's hope third, third time's a charm so I shouldn't have any more problems with this okay so there is a little hole reinforcer and a washi tape done I'm going to start to just decorate a few things um, let's have a look I'm going to throw in some birds like I always do I'm just going to see which ones do I have We'll just throw these in to start with. A little yellow bird there. And put maybe we'll put this little brown brown bird down here. You can sit down in there. And I usually put one bird and my little ones, my little um, ephemera packs. Quite like this one. So I might pop that one in there. Just ready to go. Uh, what else? Oh, we'll come back for the rest anyway. But there's a start. And we've got this little um, little pocket that I did also in my floral ephemera pack. But this is obviously made from Tim Holtz paper. So I'm going to decorate this up a little bit. Pop some tickets and things and pop it down there. So I'm going to grab... I'm trying to think. Sorry guys. Let me just reach over here see where I've put my little images I've got all these old tins I grabbed from a um, thrift shop in the Netherlands so let's see I've got all these small size ones I think that's about all I have actually I'm running out of little images I have to go and grab some from my drawer I think I'll just put this lady on here And I've already inked up around the edges. Actually, I wonder if I might ink her up a little bit too. I usually use um, vintage photo, but I'm out of that right now. It's not too easy to come by here, um, unless it's in like the little four packs um, or online. And I'm impatient when I order online, so I do, I do like to go and get my stuff. Um, if I can <laughs> um, at a store. Okay, I'm gonna pop her there and grab my tape just to hold her down because I will sew as well around on her. 
and yeah those are my copyright free images um, that I offered in my floral ephemera video so I'm just going to take this tape off Yeah, so it's a, um, actually a long weekend here at the moment. It was Australia Day here yesterday. And um, they make Monday a public holiday actually. So, so yeah, it's um, it's been a bit busy with people having barbecues and celebrating and all that kind of stuff. Let me just find my words. Um, there were some protests down in Melbourne though, I believe over that because some people, well, a, lot, um, a lot of people want to change the date I think because it was it was um, the date of the first fleet that arrived here in Australia so it's a it's um, offensive to some people so it's maybe adventure as well yeah so there were some uh, protests down in Melbourne I saw so I was, <laughs> my kids were down, down there and they shut down a lot of roads. Um, yeah. But yeah, we didn't really get up to too much really on Australia Day. Went for a bit of a drive, that was about it. The country drive. <laughs> Actually, I probably should have held off on that there because I've got to sew. Oh well, it doesn't matter, does it? Actually, I might make that a little bit darker. Did I put one on here? I'm trying to think whether I did or not. Oh, I did, but I did black. Oh well, it doesn't matter if it's black or white, I don't think. But when there's the white stickers, I do like to um, just rub a bit of ink so it's not so stark white with the vintage. Okay, so there's my little pocket. It's a little bit decorated. I'm going to go do some zigzag along there now and then we'll come back and we'll pop maybe just some tickets and some journaling cards and stuff in it. So I'll sew this and I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so this one here has now been sewn. I just did some zigzag just around the border here and I've just sealed that up so now we've got our little pocket here and I'm just going to fill it up with a few bits and pieces so these are the Tim Holtz journaling cards um, probably just pop I'll pop one in there that one goes quite nicely I think so I'll pop that in there and then I'm going to grab some of my tickets I do need to uh, make some more actually so I don't have any large ones but Uh, the rest. Oh, they're all mixed in here. So we'll grab, actually that's the same there. Oh, if I have any yellow ones left. Let's have a look and see. Ah, there's a yellow one. That one. Maybe, oh, we'll do that one, that one, that one I think. Yeah, I'm going to have to stamp some more of these because I love using them. So we'll pop a few of these in here. I think that's all I've popped in there for now. Let's put them in there and then we can pop our little pocket down the bottom here. Let's get a little bird. And we will start doing some more embellishing. So I want to create these ones here. I do make tiny, I don't know if you, you can't really see probably, but I do make little square embellishments there. I'll pull them all out later, but I'm going to decorate one up here. I'm going to try and have a look and see which base I want to use here. Sorry, probably should have. Um, chosen all this before. I do love that one with the flowers too. <laughs> um, so let's see. Grab our little, little people out again. Oh, we only got one left. 
I'm gonna have to go on the hunt for some more later. Yep. Okay, so we'll go with this guy because that's who's left. <laughs> Give him a bit more of a masculine background here. Uh, we'll pop him up there. I'll just do a bit of uh, inking around the edges here. I'm thinking this one, this video here might be a little bit longer than the last one. Um, just because I'm going to be embellishing a bit more. So there's that. I'll just ink this one up a little bit. I don't, I don't really... I think that this um, stays on when it's timber brown. I think it's a little bit too dark for my liking. So I'm just quite light with it around the edges. Okay, so we've got our... Uh, he looks like Albert Einstein a bit, don't you reckon? With his... With his little moustache and stuff here. <laughs> he looks a bit like Albert Einstein, but his... I think his name is... Oh, it's down the bottom there somewhere anyway. Let's pop that aside and then I'm going to grab my little embellishing tray. <laughs> you guys can see here. This is where I keep all my sort of vintage style die cuts. Um, not all of these come from die cut packets. Um, quite often I will use the paper pads themselves and I will fussy cut things out and throw them in here as well. It's a good way to, to add up, you know, to put things into your um, die cut stash. So... We'll go through it a little bit here and maybe I'll speed this up a little bit just so you guys aren't watching me um, muck around too much because I can be quite indecisive. <laughs> Okay, so I just kept this very, very simple, just a little bit of embellishing and this man here and I've just stitched all around here and I'm just going to pop a little tiny word sticker. I think I'll do a black one this time. Maybe. Remember the now. Um, where should we pop this? Hmm. Maybe we'll, gosh, I'm so indecisive, aren't I? We'll keep it down here, I think. I hope that's straight. No, it's not really. Straighten it up a little bit. <laughs> okay, so. Here we are. Now there's this little embellishment we can add to our pack here. So just pop that behind. And actually, I'll pop in some of these Tim Holtz dolls. Let's see what we've got here. Um, I usually like to put a bigger one and a smaller one. So we'll pop a smaller one down the... What about this little ballerina? She's so sweet. Let's pop her in around about there sort of covering up that embellishment but it's there I'll pop the bird behind I think and maybe we should add a a bigger person we'll pop her in there and we will grab our little pocket here and we'll put one in what size maybe maybe this lady and this boy here. So I've got a few of them I think. So that'll oh goodness, let's put them there. And um I don't know if I've mentioned yeah I think I did in the last video that these um, pockets here are made from the Tim Holtz uh, wallpaper or if you have just um, 
regular vintage wallpaper or wallpaper you can use those you don't even have to use wallpaper you can use scrap wallpaper um, and I think one person did ask me with the layered pocket tags too um, do you have to sew them around here and no you don't absolutely not you can just use glue um, I just sew because I like to add that sort of element um, I think a lot of us do so yeah but absolutely not if you don't um, have a sewing machine and that okay and then I think we'll get some of our florals that I like to add and throw a few of those in as well before we start embellishing the rest I love that white one actually I'm gonna pop it in this one as well um, oh maybe you shouldn't because actually my last floral packs most of them sold to the same person so I'm kind of trying to think um, if it happens again I need to include different different bits and pieces in each pack so we'll pop that one there got that one there we'll add another one down the bottom here I'm waiting on um, some new stickers to come in actually um, maybe yellow add some yellow yeah we'll put some yellow down there oh sorry guys I'll turn my aircon off when I um, stop filming I actually have to put the air conditioning on for a little bit to cool it down because it is very very hot here today um, but I'm aware it's noisy in the background of the video so I try to turn it off so sorry about that okay so we've got those bits of pieces the next things I want to make are envelopes and I'll do one each for these packs so I'm going to do them at the same time um, this part I will speed up to save time because otherwise this video will be two hours long and I'll do them yeah I'll do them at the same time and we'll, we'll pop them in the packs there so I'll talk to you guys after these are all complete <laughs>
Okay guys, so I finished decorating um, these envelopes now. Um, so this one's pretty plain, pretty simple. Um, just because I didn't want to add any more to take away from this little flower here in the middle. But it just has some fabric, some different papers and music paper. Um, and the image here, some sewing. And it's all distressed around there. So that's one that's done. And of course I leave them... Um, unsealed so that you know it just gives more options on whoever wants to um, purchase this they can sew them into their in the middle of their signatures or, or whatever they want to do um, so this is the second one and this is just like um, it's from a stamp book that I got and it just shows stamps from around the world uh, where's the piece of paper? Let me see if I can just... This one's a scrap piece of paper anyway, because I was thinking on it. Um, but as you can see in the book pages, they've got... It's upside down. Um, pictures of stamps, and this book is like this thick. So anyway, it's just fun to cut little um, stamps out of there and pop it on there. And there's a little butterfly and some fabric and stuff. So, so they're all done. Now we can pop those in our packs. So let me see, um, we'll pop this one here, uh, I think, I think I'll pop it at the top, I think that's where I put my envelopes, and we will pop this one in here. I'm going to have to take these out be a little bit tricky um, popping things in here uh, especially when it's like it's not sealed up so <laughs> all the flaps are kind of coming loose there so it will pop this vintage lady in here okay so I'll pop this one aside I wanted to make a tag to go in here. I just like this young gentleman here. He's um, another picture out of that book I showed you. So I'm thinking about making another sort of... That's really big though. I really like this image, but it's, it's so big. I'm um, not sure how I could get that all the way down. Oh, look at this man. We might use this man here. We'll turn him into a tag, I think. Um, we will grab some paper just to back him on. So bear with me just one minute while I find some. I think we'll just use this one here. Excuse my squeaky chair. Um, do we want to back it? I'm not sure if we want to back it with um, that side or something. Hmm, that side is really nice, but maybe we should back back it with the brown. So I think I think we'll do that. Um, I'm just gonna I'll pop that, scooch that over, and just add some tape to this because I do sew on it again, um, and I do I do a little bit of decoration on the front as well. So I don't need too much of this tape. So it's just a strong um, double-sided tape here. Gosh, you usually need really good nails for this. <laughs> Sometimes it can be hard to peel up. Okay. Just back it onto here. neaten it up if um, I don't know if some of you guys might have seen um, one of my insta friends Angela she's uh, 
Moss, Moss Woodville, I think she is. We did a live together yesterday on Instagram and I was um, starting some of these uh, pocket tags. So we did like a split screen and yeah, it was so much fun. So I think now I'm just going to grab some lace. Just reach over here and get it. There. This is my favorite, favorite lace actually. Love this one. So I think let's pop a little bit of. Oh, actually, what I might do is just I'll just ink this up a little bit. I don't know that it's going to show up all that much, but I'll just make sure that it gets rid of those white, any white edges there. <laughs> Just use some glue on the back here. And you know, if you wanted to, you could put a photo on the back here or you could add some um, paper to write on or something like that. Just gonna twist that a little bit there. Down. I went back to my uh, fabric glue. <laughs> went and bought some more of this. It's it's my new um, go-to, I think. The other one I got, I don't know. It it smelled really bad actually, and uh, it's actually by the same brand. But yeah, I wasn't a huge fan of it. Okay, so we've got that now. I wonder. I should probably sew first and then do a little bit of decoration. So. Yeah, I'll go and do a little bit of zigzag and I'll come back and we'll just add a little bit of decoration down here. Okay, so I'm just sewing around there just with zigzag and that's just secured that little um, lace topper in, in place there. I'm just gonna, gonna put a few bits and pieces just to decorate this photo up a little bit here. So I think, um, yeah, these dies came from there's one of the Tim Holtz ephemera packs that have like really tiny um, die cuts in it. Um, either that or I've cut it out of paper. <laughs> pop that about, uh, about there. Actually I won't, I won't put that down too hard because I'm going to oh, quickly slip this behind. I'm always doing this. And I want things to go behind something. I'm always putting the wrong one down first. So I'll try and be a bit quick. Lift that up. Pop that one there. This one here doesn't really need inking because it's... Oops. Throw in stuff everywhere, guys. Um, it's pretty dark on the edges. It doesn't really need inking here. Got glue hands again. <laughs> Alright, so we'll pop this number nine under here a little bit. Oh my goodness, I'm putting glue everywhere, guys. Okay, I think we'll just, just try and take that off a little bit. Grab some tiny word stickers but now that's that's a little bit more decorated up down the bottom there so I think should we add white or black stickers we'll add white uh, let's see lucky is a state of mind hmm today it's full of possibilities so many words to choose from. This actual pad here has lasted me ages. Let life surprise you. We'll pop that one in, I think. Can go down there and we'll just ink it up a little bit. Oh, 
think I'll add a bit more glue to the back of this one when I'm handling it because it might lose its stick a little bit otherwise. So top, no, I think we'll pop it down here with its little cluster of things. And there we go, we've decorated up that tag. That glue's going to be right there. But anyway, here we are. It's a, just a simple picture that we've grabbed out of a book. It's been backed onto some paper here. It's got a little lace topper. So now that's ready to go in. Let's find out where I popped my um, little pocket. I think it's this one. <laughs> got a few of them laying around here. So take this out. Usually the elements that I put in the vintage ones are a bit more bulky than all the ones that I've put in the, um, the floral pack. So I generally can't fit as much in the vintage ones because it's just a lot of bulk with the die cuts and things on top. Um, yeah, see, it will go in but it takes quite a bit of fiddling about so think yeah there it goes it's okay so I don't want to add too much more so I think for this one I'm just going to add one more tag in there he is there um, squeeze him down there there's our envelope now bird up there and pop our lady in here, she fits in okay, and she's going to be tricky too, I'll just leave her there for now, fix it up later, okay anyway, I will fix that all up later, so now what I want to do is I want to add a couple of my large tags in, and I just use these Tim Holtz, um, gosh what are they called, I think they're called journaling cards, but they come in like three different sizes I think you've got these ones you've got mm, is it this size I think and then like this size so they will come in the pack but I think we'll decorate because I want to add one into my smaller pack not that one oh, my smaller pack has gone here I want to add one into this one and then into this one and then probably some tickets in here and I think we might be all done decorating so we'll have a look and see what other pictures we've got left here oh I love this one this is one of my favorites of this couple I might add them in and we've got a man there what should we add I'll grab those two I think See what goes with what. We'll trial a few pieces here. Yeah. I think we've had her, so we don't want to pop her in there. I think we'll add. Which man did we? I think we used that guy because he looked like Albert Einstein, didn't he? Um, <laughs> well, there's this guy here. Oh, he goes well with that. Maybe we'll pop him there. He can go in. I don't know if this couple goes with that, though. Real swap. Hmm. See, I'm so fussy. No. I think I definitely like him with that. And then... Maybe we should put a lady with this one. Or a man. Maybe we'll just throw him down. We haven't used him. Let's let's pop him down there. Pull that in there. Okay. or ink cup around the sides of this and I might um, I might speed 
this one up too because uh, I still want to show you guys all the different packs and stuff um, so I'll just I'll quickly speed through this part Okay guys, so I've just finished these tags now um, and just did some sewing around the image there, just some decorating down here, tiny word sticker, some lace, that's one tag and then the same with this one. So that was our last uh, few bits and pieces that we were going to add in here. So I think, which one should we put in here? Ooh. We'll pop um, this one at the back if I can squeeze it in here. We'll see. Hopefully I can. There it goes down there. Okay. So there's that. Do I put another? Oh yeah, I do. Back here. Just gonna adjust this a little bit. I love to be able to see um, the little birds and things peeking out. Okay. So there is our finished um, vintage style layered pocket tag ephemera pack and I'll just pop this one into the small one we have here and then I'm going to pop some um, tickets in as well. So just kind of adjust. Uh, what did I do? Did I just lose that? Yeah, I did. <laughs> so we've got uh, that man, that lady there, and these few bits and pieces, and I'll put some tickets in. And that'll be those two done. Put this lady in here. She can fit in okay. She can have a little head popping out there. Pop this there. Put the bird at the back here, and... I'll grab a few tickets. They might not, you might not be able to see them very well, but I'm gonna, I'll pop them in there. Okay, so that's those two that we've finished today. And I'll go through, I'll just try and make some space here. I'll go through some of the other, um, packs with you guys that'll be in the shop so I will have now two of those I do have another one let me grab it oh gosh be here somewhere oh there it is uh, sorry guys my dog he's grabbing a drink <laughs> pop 
those over there. So these are all the vintage style packs that are going to be in my shop um, after this video goes up. So we did that one and we did that one. So I'll pop those aside and I'll just quickly show you what's in these ones. So this is the other one that I created uh, yesterday and today. So that's the, the wallpaper pocket there. Some tickets. Um, there is another one. Oh, I did put a floral one, another floral in there. So I'll go back and I'll put another floral in my other one. So there's that, which is out of a little planner, floral planner kind of a book. I do have a um, envelope here. This lovely couple. The bird and this gentleman. And this one here. So that's the second um, small ephemera pack. So I'm just going to pop that aside over there. And then these are the other two regular ones that I've created. So I'll go through just all the bits and pieces in here. So there's this bird here, this young man. There is this um, little pocket here with some tickets and a little journaling card. This is one of my embellishments. These are made to be like embellishments. So you can put them on your page or other little pockets. Um, or yeah, you could put it in a pocket or other little projects and things. More floral stickers. This little boy here. This is one of the um, other tags. So it's embellished down here. It's got live every day with intention. Just like that. And this is one of the um, envelopes. You'll be able to see pictures and things like that over on my listing though. This lovely bird. Isn't he, isn't he gorgeous? And this large tag here. These lovely two um, girls here. So that is another of the regular size. I'll just pile all that up here. Try and pop it over there. And this is the third one. So they all have the same um, stuff, but it, you know, it comes with slightly different like images and things. So there's your tickets and journaling card. Here's this bird. This is one of the embellishment pieces. It says live every day with intention. Again, I think that was the same. Floral sticker. Tim Holtz dolls. I can pull this one out. It's a long one. This is one of the tags here. It says, I'm happiest when I'm with you. So that's the back. This is the envelope here. It's got another one of those stamp cutouts there. This is the large tag. And this is the bird. So that is all of the vintage style packs that will be up. Try and keep those in their piles so I can photograph them a little bit later. Um, and then I do have, I did make three of these sets of eco prints. These are completely original eco prints. Um, so I'll show you what's in these. There's five sheets, um, they're A4 size and they've been like ironed and sort of flattened and they'll come in this clear plastic uh what would you call it pocket um and yeah i can post these in a large envelope as well so i'll show you some of the prints it's got this lovely uh once again mix of reds and browns and you can see some leaves but what i like most about these eco prints are the patterns that are on the pages so they're not just leaves they're a mixture of different dyes and patterns and stuff which i i really really love so this one here as you can see it's leaves and things that's a fern i gathered this one yesterday so there's this one on the side's a little bit lighter so there's more greens and yellows and stuff in this 
um, set I think but you can um, use them as pages in your journals you can use them you can do some die cutting make tags out of them because there's a lot of space this one here has got a giant fern on it and some leaves over the side and uh, yeah lots of different imprints and markings and things like that all around different colors this is from a different batch so there were leaves and then there was rose petals here and different markings and things so that is that batch so there's five in there um, if you guys are interested um, I can keep making these and selling them I do love to make them so this is the second pack here this one's a lovely one You can see all the different markings and things here. Leaves, browns, greens. There's a fern up there, I think. We got a fern there. And here I got a giant leaf. If you guys saw on my Instagram, it was a giant yellow leaf. I couldn't fit it on the entire page, so I cut it in half and used it on two different pages. But you can see it goes the whole way around there. And lots of leaves and things on there, so absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to be find it hard to part with this one, but I will, I will. Um, what else we have here? This is quite a cool one, actually, because you can see it's like, I don't know what this marking is here, but there are leaves up the top here, diagonal. Oh, that's right, I put them across that way, and if you can see, there's lots of little petals along here so it's like they're diagonal up the top and then there's one big one here and another one here I put lots oh actually still a little bit of onion on that one take it off so yeah I put lots and lots of leaves look at that one you can see um, lots of leaves on these pages so there's a lot of different markings it's fun to look closely and see which ones so this here's a fern and there's bunches of leaves, things here. And, oh, did I just do, what did I put two in? Oh, no, so that's probably the back side of that. So there's that big leaf again, which is so, so awesome. So lovely markings and things. And this one's got a lot of green in it. This was red onion skin, but I think because I put so many leaves, um, it kind of turned it green, so it was really really cool. Big leaf up here. So yeah, so that is the second pack of my eco prints. Sorry guys, just gotta adjust myself because I'm getting a dead leg. Just pop this back in here so I don't get them all mixed up. Pop that one side there and then there's this one which is also really cool um, this one's very green and there's another of the, the half of that really big leaf if you can see it's like the top end of it and it's doubled and then this was all red onion skins that once again they're, they're not red but they've mixed with the, the coffee spray and the leaves and things and they've turned green just so so awesome I was expecting to get a lot of red in this one and I didn't but it's nice to have the green this is a fern a leaf let's see actually I'll turn it around you can see that leaf there so it's awesome so this one here this one I left um, on sort of the stick and it had like four leaves coming off of it so so that's that one. There's a big leaf there. So this one here, lots of leaves. I think I've got them upside down. Yeah. You can see all the dots and stuff that were on the leaves there. Here's some of my yummy, yummy, twiny, grungy marks here, which I just I love. I love getting those marks. See, I, I put the leaves and stuff upside down so you'll get them on different um, 
angles and things like that. Like here's one sideways, so it comes out that way. And there's a fern, there's leaves all here. There's some more twine marks here. And I think this one, this was from the same batch. Or not, I think it was because it's still green and stuff. Look at that leaf there. All the dots and stuff on it. I, I tried to get more imperfect leaves so that you could see all the markings and stuff on it. So that is that one. So those are my three packs of um, Eco Pages. Um, yeah, so there's five A4 size ones. If you're interested, they'll be up in my shop tonight because uh, it's pretty late here now. It's about, oh, it's nearly 5 p.m. So I'm going to go now and I'm going to list everything, but it might take me about an hour and then I've got to upload this video and stuff so hopefully these will be up by the time the video is up um, if not one they're either sold or two just wait a little bit longer and they'll they'll go up so yeah so thanks so much for watching um, this video I hope you enjoyed it um, I know you've been wanting to watch the vintage style ephemera packs for a little while now and I get a little bit distracted I like to make journals I like to change it up a little bit I don't like to sort of make the same thing over and over again I've got to sort of have a rotation happening but um yeah I hope you enjoyed that and um that yeah you guys can make some vintage style film packs too so um in the next video I'm going to be working on our journal again I'm going to work on it a little bit more off camera um because I want to sort of add in some plain pages in between the collage pages now so I'm going to work on it a little bit and then in the next video I'll come back and we'll do some more together and hopefully it won't be too far off being completed and then I can do a giveaway and all that so so yeah so thank you so much once again for watching my video for commenting on my video all your lovely lovely comments that I love to read and I try to respond to every single one if I have not managed to for some reason if it hasn't shown up in my notifications I do apologize um, but I do try to respond to every single one of your comments and I hope you guys are having a lovely weekend and for you guys in Australia I hope you guys are going to have a wonderful public holiday tomorrow <laughs> uh, put those feet up and relax <laughs> and I will talk to you guys in the next video bye guys